Hey everyone, this is Foundations, and our lesson for today is responding to cyberbullying. In this lesson, we'll learn some ways to respond to cyberbullying. Let's go ahead and get started. So, our warm up How is bullying that happens online different from or similar to bullying that happens in person? So, in Schoology, there is a warm-up question for today. Go ahead and take some time to answer that question. When you're done with that, let's go ahead and move on. Let's define cyberbullying. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is the use of technology to harass, threaten, or intimidate another person. Go ahead and watch this quick video. When I'm online, there's always people who want to bother you and want to annoy you. And those people always bother me. I really don't like that about being online, the negativity that's there and how like rude and ruthless people are online just because they're hidden behind a screen sometimes people hate on you and it's not cool because they're like hating on you and then your self-esteem go down and your self-confidence go down and you might want to quit doing what you're doing on the internet you never know who is actually who and they could always be doing something wrong and telling stuff about you that's not actually true like you don't even know the person but they're still saying things about you saying you did this you did that Pretend you have a YouTube channel and someone like putting comments, like bad negative comments. And you're like, you don't know this person. This person just being mean to you. They're just like saying bad stuff. And the point is that on online, you don't know that person in real life. You can't do really anything about it. People say things about you that are rude, but when you meet with them, they're like, they don't want to say anything or like how people hate on you. When you're a really nice person, people just want to make you feel bad or mad. All right. So, how did cyberbullying affect the students in the video? We're going to go ahead and discuss that in our um discussion on schoology as well all right let's go ahead and move on to one of the activities so responding to cyber rolling here are six strategies for responding to cyber rolling first you block so block the person uh doing the bullying from seeing your posts i think that's Probably one of the starts to it, right? Next, you report it. So report cyberbullying to a trusted adult. Or if you're playing a game, right? Report it to the game uh, system managers or, or anything, okay? Support. Offer support to the person being bullied instead of getting involved in the conflict. Listen to their experience ask what they need or offer to help them make a plan for responding share or don't share sorry if you like or share social media posts intended to harm someone else you're all you're participating in the cyberbullying so be aware of that document Download and save or print evidence of the cyberbullying right away before it can be deleted. And lastly, don't retaliate. People who bully want a reaction. If you try to retaliate, retaliate or get even, you contribute to the bullying. Um, once again, let's share a quick experience. I think in our foundations, there was some cyberbullying going on with the students saying that I'm not funny when I'm clearly very funny, right? So 
once again, I didn't retaliate. I just simply tried to document it and then try to report it and then find support for it. So hopefully you can do the same. Don't try to get a reaction, right? Once again, or if you do react, that that's exactly what they want, okay? So just ignore it and act like it never happened. But if it is something that needs to be brought up, please report it and find support. We're gonna go ahead and skip this activity. And let's go to the wrap up part. So why is it difficult but important to report cyberbullying to a trusted adult? So this question will also be on Schoology. Make sure you answer that. And when you're all done with that, you're good to go. All right, I'll see everybody soon.